I hear a lot of people say they get their cardio workout from pushing their wheelchair, which is great, but it's just not enough. When pushing your wheelchair all day and transferring or walking with a walker, you're using all the same muscles on the front of your shoulders and chest. These muscles get stronger and tighter. They pull your shoulder blades around your rib cage, which closes off the joint space to your shoulder and sets you up for shoulder pain. It is important that everybody stretch out the muscles in the front of their chest and strengthen the muscles in the back to keep the shoulder blades back and decrease the risk for shoulder pain. Fast Pass will encourage you to use muscles you don't normally use as well as gain your heart rate up to burn some calories. This class is self-paced, so you can push yourself as hard as you want to or ease into it. You can do the moves as fast as you'd like or as slow as you need to. You can take a break at any time. We add intensity by using weights. You can buy these at your local sporting goods store. Or you can use some household items, like water bottles or canned goods. If you have some movement in your legs that you would like to incorporate into the workout, you are welcome to do so. If you have enough strength to stand and balance while doing the workout, you can do that too. This is your workout. On the exertion scale of 1 to 10, I recommend working at about a 6 or a 7, where you feel like you're getting a workout but can still carry on a conversation or sing along to the music. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, if you have chest pain, dizziness, headache, or signs of dysreflexia, please stop and seek the appropriate medical attention. And as with any exercise program, you should always consult a physician before starting to make sure you're healthy enough for exercise. Some tips for the routine. Try to sit up as tall as you can through the whole exercise program. When the movements call for you to pull your arms back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. When the arms are supposed to be up, keep your elbows as close to shoulder height as possible. This will increase the challenge on the shoulder muscles. When the movements call for straight arms, keep your elbows tight. If at any time you feel that you need to put your weights down, you can do so, but try to keep your arms moving. Stick with it and it will get easier and your body will thank you. If you have any specific questions, please feel free to contact me. Now pick up your weights and let's get started.